Kramers, you are on the under here. Ten and a half wins for the Bengals. Um, I'm of course going to be on the over. I'm not going to be playing them division because I do think there's a world where hey, maybe it's nine and eight, ten and seven. I like them to get into the playoffs. I don't like the price. What about you, Ryan? Do you have them missing the playoffs? I think it's probably worth betting. Okay. And what do you got your missed playoff price at? Uh, I mean, I I know what we were flashing earlier, but two to one. Okay, miss playoffs at two to one there. What other what are some other uh, future bets you like for the Bengals? Not much, uh, honestly. <laughs> there there's not a lot. I, I mean, I I don't really like fade. I mean, it's not like I'm I'm gonna fade a. a I don't think I fade Joe Burrow in like an interception market because I think it's more likely they're if it's bad. It's because he got hurt, not so much he's he's chucking too many inter. Him having a lot of interceptions probably means they've had a good season. Uh, and then you know, looking at maybe uh, I'm not that low on them, so looking at the alt wins and stuff like that, not really interested. We ran through the schedule. There's not kind of this clear opportunity for them to start extremely fast or extremely slow. So yeah, I got I got a well when we get to underdog, I'll, I'll ha- I got something over there. But uh, it's a light this is a light team for well, me. and we've seen this team when they get in the playoffs get hot. Joe Burrow has shown the ability to go in and win playoff games in the road, win in Buffalo, win in Kansas City. Uh, I will take a Super Bowl exacta, Cincy mm. versus Philadelphia, what? sixty to one. That's that's cheating. What do you mean that's cheating? Ah, oh, it's just throwing the Eagles in with a Cincy bet. No, I also like them. Uh, <laughs> I also uh, like a, a sprinkle on on. Wait, Bengals. is that either way, or is the Eagles winning that one? That you no, that one's just that one's making, either way. Yeah. Okay, nice, nice. Now, I, I of course, if they do have a <laughs> Eagles over the Bengals exacta, if that flashes, I also like that. I do like the Cin- circa has that for sure. Okay, yeah. well, I'll, I'll give that price out when I track it down. So you can box it and just play the sh- you maybe double down on the straight exacta for your Eagles. Yes, uh, I like the Bengals to win the AFC. Really at seven to one. Yeah, like this. Wow. I mean, again, I love this. Again, all they have to do is get into the playoffs, and this team can get hot. I well, he did bring up the last time he was coming off an injury. It was he, they made the Super Bowl. We went to media week down in in a beautiful sunny Los Angeles, right down the street, and we uh, that uh, that it the, was so funny. Like that was when the Brandon Lang interview that no one's <laughs> ever heard was recorded. It is just so great. Like the when uh, L. A. hosted a. Uh, <laughs> Hosted a, hosted a Super Bowl and literally no one cared or had any idea. And the media shit was like thirty miles away from the stadium. Uh, didn't make any sense anyway. I mean, every time Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow's been to the playoffs twice. In both those times, he won multiple playoff games. He's five and two as a starter in the playoffs, and both times he's lost, it's only been by three points. Like this guy shows up in big spots. I'm not gonna. You know, look back and regret not having action on Joe Burrow um, to make a run in the playoffs and getting it at seven to one. I think we're going to look back and be like, "Wow, that was a good price." Because uh, I, again, he gets in, he's going to shake things up, hmm. and uh, you know, he, assuming he's healthy, which uh, I feel good enough to get down on. What about you, Justin? What are some uh, fun uh, Bengals futures you like? <laughs> Run it! I, we're Super Bowl champions. Uh, <laughs> every, Super Bowl, every, uh, fifteen <laughs> to one. Yeah, I'll give you the AFC as well. Yeah, MVP? and then no. Oh, okay, not MVP. No. All right, uh, Justin Herbert MVP. Whoa. I think this year, wow, yeah. twenty-two yeah. to one. You're, uh, I'm big on. I'm big with even being an Ohio State guy. I think. Harbaugh is going to be great for uh, the team, and I think this could be Herbert's year. But he's still, you know, we'll, we'll still be the prediction here. Yeah. What about? Uh, I mean, we always talk about the receiving stuff. Uh, any any Jamar Chase uh, futures you find interesting here? Um, you sent me over the. Uh, thing. Yeah, the the underdog. Uh, yeah, underdog has a bunch, obviously, for him. Jamar yeah. Chase just to lead the AFC North, just the AFC North minus one ten. Mm. Like I usually look towards the long shot market in here, but Jamar Chase versus Amari Cooper, George Pickens, Zay Flowers, T Higgins. Like I think Jamar Chase at e- essentially almost even money here to lead the AFC, NFC AFC North. Uh, I'm getting down on that. 
I mean that that feels that Bur- feels like stealing. I mean Burrow's a massive favorite to take down that market and passing yards. So. Yes. So again, I think you're actually getting a good price because T Higgins at nine to one. I feel like every year I talk myself into T Higgins. Hey, they should be closer, but but it always ends up being Jamar Chase is the guy. Right. He is the dog. Do you worry at all about like the looming contract stuff? Maybe there is some attitude issues. I don't know. I think they realize Look at that hair. There's definitely attitude issues. I mean, he's a cry for something. <laughs> no, uh, I. No one does that seriously. Like that's uh, something. He said he dyed his hair blonde because he was bored. Which I love the city of Cincinnati. But if you've ever been in the city of Cincinnati? Sometimes you're looking for something to do, and and dyeing your dyeing your hair blonde okay. might kill an afternoon before you go down and hit up some skyline chili. Like I, I could see your, yourself like talking yourself into uh, dyeing your hair blonde is uh, just look look for a little action there. But uh, Justin, what do you li- do? You like uh, Jamar Chase, AFC North uh, receiving yardage leader? Um, I it's hard to say no, but I I don't know. I, I, oh. I can see, I can see Burrow. I could see Higgins having a big year. I do the same thing you do, but I could see Higgins. Um, Get that. You know, money. he's on. He's on that tag again. Like he's on the tag now, so he's probably. You know, Burrow wants to keep him happy, of course, for what could be his farewell year with the Bengals. So I could see, mm. I could see Higgins being the guy this year. I mm. like that galaxy branding right there. That's <laughs> that, that does make sense. Nine to one, if you want to play. Uh, yeah, I mean, I see the case. I just I always talk myself into Higgins, and then I always I always regret when you just watch <laughs> the games. Like clearly, Jamar's his guy. Um, yeah. But what do you? Any other any other plays you like here for the Bengals, uh, Justin? Um. As as far as the Bengals, no, I think I'm pretty straight shooter. You know, they're going to do it all this year. <laughs> I, like I just it. want to say last year I came on here and said they were going to sweep the AFC North. And uh, so that might've been my fault for the last <laughs> season. So yeah, you may have jinxed them, right? I, I think it the, was where are the, uh, can you find the odds for the team sack leaders or sorry, like team to lead the league in sacks? Yes. What do you think the, uh, what are the Bengals at? Cause I think that's kind of, Oh, that's an interesting one. as much as there's questions with the defensive line. I think if they're playing from ahead, I wouldn't be totally shocked if they were in the mix. Like uh, if if they're they're long- fifteen to one, they're one of the oh, okay. They're then- chalky. Like the favorites plus seven fifty. The Niners, then Jets nine to one, Chiefs nine to one, Cowboys, Dolphins, Browns eleven to one, Bills twelve to one, Eagles, Bengals, Ravens fifteen to one. That that would I would say no, bad bet. Yeah, at Not fifteen to one. Bet. No, thank you. Uh, Moisty Turtle picks Ooh, in the hey. YouTube chat. Love that name. Bengals fan here. Who day got two tick? Uh, got two crazy tickets. One is ten dollars for seven k, and it's an eight leg parlay with all the legs cash besides the last leg, which is Bengals Super Bowl. Whoa. Oh man, that oh, is whoa. Hashtag Dejans only. That's fun. <laughs> and he has another one that's seven of the nine legs. He's just missing. Um, uh, Sean, uh, Burrow MVP, and then Sean O'Malley. So, uh, that, all right, <laughs> you gotta That's love, fun. you gotta love these uh, crazy lottery tickets, Ryan. What do you got for your underdog uh, fantasy? I mean, you just look, you look at the way that uh, Joe Mixon was used in the red zone by this team historically, and really, probably what the the community, the Reddit uh, threads that I was reading, get mad about is he. He does th- like to to favor uh, some run in in positions where maybe he shouldn't, and so I think Zach Moss is clearly going to be the goal line back for as much as you like uh, Chase Brown, Sean. Yeah, and I I'm shocked his underdog number is at six and a half. Okay, Mixon had went over this number even in the years where he missed game for injury. You know, had to leave game due to injury. It does seem like when this team gets inside the uh, the red zone, they're gonna they're gonna smash it. And I think they go out and sign a guy like smash. Zach Moss because of, of w- how he can resemble Joe Mixon in that way. So we'll take the higher on the six and a half rushing touchdowns for Zach, Zach Moss. Sean. Okay, uh, what about you, uh, Justin? In the jungle, what do you got for uh, underdog play for the Cincinnati Bengals? We're going Joe Burrow over twenty eight point five passing touchdowns. Ooh. Oh, 
So, I mean, that seems like a homer play. And I, by the <laughs> way, underdog has not replaced the uh, profile pick with the new hairdo. No, so maybe <laughs> send, send a note over them. This is not 2024 Joe Burrow. Slim shysty. Yeah. Slim shysty. Is that what he's going by? <laughs> He he does kind of look like the uh, tip of a cigar. He likes to smoke those. Well, <laughs> a lit cigar. His hair looks like. Well, I mean, in his two years where he played, you know, sixteen games, thirty-five yeah. and thirty-four touchdowns. What that, could go wrong? Uh, well, I I'm with you, Justin. You predicted no injury. He's I predicted be no injury. I got to predict uh, Joe Burrow higher, uh, twenty-eight and a half passing touchdowns. Because really, yes. Okay. I mean, uh, I and as we know, an underdog to qualify, yes. you have to play five games, snapping at each game. So if he gets the five, he might do this in five games, Ryan. Uh, poss always possible. Unlikely. Anything is possible. Yeah, he's got to get uh, what five there. A any uh, any uh, defensive guys we should be looking out for. Hendrickson's always interesting. I don't think he's in the mix defensive player of the year sack leader, but uh, any other uh, defensive guys that should be on our radar. I, I like Hubbard a lot. I think, hmm. yeah, I think he's very. Uh, if I mean, if you're a Bengals fan, you know who he is. But he doesn't seem to get a lot of recognition, and I think he's a stud. I mean, oh. he he certainly has good opportunity playing across from uh, Hendrickson there. So, right. I mean, and, and honestly, that I, Sean was right to to think about. I mean, look where they are in the sack market. Yeah, that's the, that certainly is interesting for a team that didn't exactly finish super high in in the in the numbers, but also just in general on defense. And so I guess it also speaks to the offense. Maybe that market just influenced heavily by the offensive projections. So Joe Mixon, we're not worried. Final answer. Not worried. No, we're good. Oh, okay. Okay. Real quick question. Darren yes. Simmons, special teams coach. We've been talking about this market all the time. Sean, we did we theorize that we should just scoop everyone that's 25 to one <laughs> yes. or, or longer in the kickoff return, most kickoff return touchdown market, because there are only four last year, uh, two before that. And three, the year before that Bengals are 35 to one, Sean do uh, Justin, do we like the Bengals to get any kick return touchdowns? Are you hearing anything about some special plays planned? Uh, is Darren Simmons creative? Or should we bet this at 35 to one? We had the the rookie receiver did one in week one last year, so of course, yeah, all there the house go. put the house. They were on the list last year. All right, Ryan. So <laughs> most return touchdowns thirty five to one. one, and of course, <laughs> we uh, Sean, we need to bet the bot all of the twenty five. It's nineteen yes. bets, I think, we'll be making twenty five to one or longer. It's half it's, the league just to lead the league. This I'm gonna I'm gonna add this to Justin sheet. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I I think. Uh, uh, it, again, this team gets in the playoffs. They are going to be a tough out. And as much as Kansas City, it's tough to fade them. Like at some point, maybe they do hit the wall. I think they were playing with their food a little bit, playing with fire. Like the way they just snuck into the playoffs uh, and had a, t a little tough uh, stretch there, getting to the Super Bowl. I don't know if they. I feel like at some point they're going to run out of gas, and and does kind of feel like this could be the Bengals' year. You know, I it's funny you say that because that uh, as uh, we've come coming to the end of these team previews, I I did realize like man, I think the Chiefs might have learned something from last year. Maybe they don't start slow. Maybe they realize oh, it's important okay. to get dialed in a little sooner because it was a sweat last year. Seriously, uh, and yeah, that that uh, that's, they have, that week two is going to be interesting. And 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 tune into the episode, but they have a lot of key matchups to kind of let them get focused e early without having to like, you know, think about it too hard. They can't completely sleepwalk. No, prime prime time spots. All right, so. let's take a look at our uh, our final bet sheet here. I'm in at 11 and 6, Justin 12 and 5, Kramer <sighs> 9 and 8. Uh Kramer likes the higher for uh, Zach Moss. Uh Justin and I like the higher. Joe Burrow 28 and a half rushing touchdowns. Uh Justin, uh, no surprise, Super Bowl or bus 15 to 1 <laughs> AFC division, most return touchdowns. I like the Super Bowl exact matchup. Bengals, uh, Eagles 60 to 1. Uh, Jamar Chase, most receiving yards, and AFC North. And Kramer, uh, missed playoffs at plus 200. Sprinkle. Small sprinkle on that. Actually, I, I take that bet. It's a decent sized bet. Okay, decent sized bet.